Hey friends, welcome to the show today. So I think it's about time. The weather's getting nice, things are looking up. It's time to get the 1800 buttoned up. Let's get, uh, I got the steering cylinder on as you probably saw in the last video from two weeks ago. Time to get my, my new hydraulic tank isolated, mounted, get that pump welded up, get it fired up and get it out here and see if it'll actually turn and lift stuff very well on its own for the first time in 20 years. Let's hit it. Well, friends, I have kind of a plan of attack for what I'm going to be doing here. So it's all going to start up front. I'm going to take that pump out. And like I said, them holes are, they're ovular. They're no longer roundular. So when you got a pin going through there and you tighten the belt up, it's going to you know, it's going to make the belt not ride like it should. So I'm going to take that off there, weld them up and redrill them. Done. Get me a clampy do right there. Then I'm going to kind of go under here where all the, where I've run all the other plumbing. Zip tie, zip tie. Remember the tire we did on Turd Ferguson two weeks ago? Well, I saved the tube for that because we're going to take a chunk of that tube and cut it out and put it around here. Take some of that tube and put it up under here, up under here. So this will have something nice and soft to sit on instead of the opposite of that. Many of you have expressed concern that I should use the old straps from here. And you're right, I probably should, but I'm not going to right now. Just because the way that's measured out, it kind of fits everything that it has very perfectly. The distance I have on my new brackets is not the same. Um, I mean, I guess with some fumbling around, I could probably make it work. But I got some universal metal strapping material. That'll work just fine to hold this down. It'll keep it, you know, put where I want it. And that's going to be that. Then all I got to do is fill up the tank, fire up the tractor, pull it outside. Hope that she steers good because I haven't tried that yet. I'm guessing it's going to steer just fine, though, because there's no reason for it not to. Now that I got that shiny new cylinder in there. So I guess at this point, guys, it's time for me just to get with the program here. So like I said, first things first, let me get that pump on. Here's me. See if I can just kind of. Give me him right on out of here. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Let's get this right down. Come on, let go. There we go. Thankfully, these pumps aren't super heavy. They're not super light either, but at least they're not super heavy. There we go. Well, yeah, guys, there's that pump. Now, before I get too in-depth in this, I want to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, Factor 75. Now, a lot of times, guys, I'm out in the barn. I look like this. I'm hungry. I don't want to have to do all my clothes to go in the house, and this JT don't ask me to live somewhere else. I sure don't want to get in my truck like this, but a guy's got to eat, and I got to do it, and I want to try and stay healthy. Factor 75 is the answer for all those things. Hey, guys, let me just... Get my lunch in here. Today I have chosen the black pepper and sage pork chop. So friends, let's talk about Factor a little bit. You can eat stress-free this spring with Factor's delicious ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in two minutes. You can choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, Vegan, Veggie. I like the Keto myself, that's just me. Also, they have more than 60 add ons every week, like breakfast, on the go lunch, snacks, beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day. What are you waiting for? Get started today. Fuel up your springtime goals. Two minute meals. Fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever and wherever you are. 
tell you what, guys, these things, like I said here, they are tailored to fit your schedule. You can customize your meals with the flexibility to get as much or as little as you need. Going on vacation, you can pause it, heading back home. You can start it back up again. You can suit your lifestyle that way. For me, Factor is an easy go-to for lunch. I mean, like I said, I can be right out here working. I don't have to go in the house. I don't have to get everything full of <laughs> everything that I'm bringing in from outside here. Mrs. JT likes that a lot better. Factor may have saved my marriage. Ooh, that smells good. Bingo. And guys, like I said, fresh, never frozen. Oh, that smells good. Looks good. Come on in here. Let me get you in here, guys. Guys, let me just get my garage utensils here. Oh, man. Hmm. I tell you what, that is top notch, way to go. So I tell you what, guys, head over to factor75.com or click the link below and use code JTSBARN50 to get 50% off your first factor box and 20% off your next box. That's JTSBARN50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Guys, I'm gonna sit and enjoy the rest of my lunch here. Let's get back to the video. All right, first thing I wanna do is clean this thing up a lot. This thing is in. This thing ain't gotta be showroom shiny, but you know, a little less grease on it sure wouldn't hurt any. There, guys, that's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot more respectable than it was. So I'm going to kind of let this dry so when I hit it with the welder, it doesn't immediately catch on fire. Put it over here to get it out of that little puddle of brake cleaner. And uh, you see, I'm just going to weld these holes up a little bit, hit them with the drill, and that should tighten them right up, make this thing just like it was when it was new, only better. There we go. That is what JT was looking for. Now. Perfect. That is about half the movement that it had before. So that's exactly what I'm hoping for. Okay, well. Let me get this pump back up under there and hook up some lines and we're on to the next thing. Back splitting, head splitting. Ugh. There we go. There's that. Thank you, Mr. Zip Tie, for holding me into place for a while there. Well, there, guys. That was pretty easy. Nothing to it. Got everything all zipped up underneath. Actually, it didn't look too bad. But next thing I got to do, like I say, get myself that uh, old hunk of inner tube that I had, get it wrapped around there and zip tied, get this, some inner tube along the sides of this. Get this baby tied down, get some oil in it, and then let's go 
Let's go give her some hell. Let's see what happens. Well, guys, let's get back here and get this done. Now, uh, I wanted to take a minute and kind of show you something. So a lot of you mentioned using the old straps, which would be a fine idea. But I can't do that, and I'll tell you why. So let's just say I get these mounted in there right here. You see where this is? If you can see it over there. Um, it ain't going to work. They're too tall. I got to have something that I can kind of, and they're not long enough to go from here all the way down to somewhere over here where I can maybe make a smaller strap. So they just, I'll find another use for them, but they just aren't going to work. So what I'm going to do, say I've got some universal strapping material. I'm going to drill a hole straight in this side, this side, same over there. Cut a piece of that strapping material. Um, maybe with a little bit longer bolt on the bottom of the bracket so I can strap this down nice and snug. I'll get some inner tube cut out. I got my inner tube hauled in. Let's see. Yeah, there it is over there on the floor. But yeah, that's uh, But that's how this is just going to have to work out. So, say not, not the greatest. But hey, again, guys, I'm trying to reinvent the wheel here and make this better than it was. So it is what it is, and it's going to be what it's going to be. Let's get some holes poked in this mother. Let me get myself situated a little better here. There we go. Do I like where that's sitting? Pretty much. It's going to do. There's one side. Before I get crazy, i got to get some rubber in there. All right, one for that side, one for this side. That'll be nice and comfy for that to sit on. Let's get this one jammed up under this side. Hey, get out of my way. Guys, I'm going to get the other side cut out there, go underneath, get my hose clamp tightened up, and we're, uh, we're pretty much ready to put some fluid in that and see how it works. Gosh, I hope it works. There, let's see if we can get those. Oh, yeah, I like that. There, guys, that's that's better than nothing, I guess. Good. Well, now all I gotta do is add some hydraulic oil and fire it up and see if it works. Unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I only got about a gallon in my bucket and nothing's open because it's Sunday. That's fine, whatever. We'll fill that up tomorrow and go give it a shot. Well, top of the morning, everybody. So I got myself some oil. Hey, remember all you guys that said my gravel wasn't going to work there because I did it wrong? Yeah, it's working fine. Never mind that now. We're on to the task at hand. Let's see if the tank that everybody said wasn't going to work is going to also work fine. I mean, I've been wrong before, but maybe this will be one of those times. But yeah, like I say, got a couple buckets of oil. Let me uh, add them to this tractor. We'll get her fired up and see what we got. See what's working. I mean... There's a lot of things we got to test here. So I got the new stilling to do that. I got the new steering cylinder on. Got my tank in place. Got my belts and pumps brand new, nice and snug. I mean, this tractor in theory in the next few minutes could do things it hasn't done in years. I hope, I hope this wasn't all in vain. Let me get some oil in it.
look who decided to join us today. What you doing, Fluffy? You ain't going in the house. It's too nice a day. All right, guys, I guess, uh, you know, it's very important to have a grill on before you start your tractor. But, uh, you know, this, this thing's been sitting in here about a month, so she's going to smoke like a steam train. So let me see if I can get it fired up and just get it out and let all the, let everything, all the oils and circulate. that friends that baby turns finger simple don't worry about all that smoke that'll clear out someday if I ever get it if it ever dries out enough but let's check on this guy here look at that it circulate fluid that's a good sign go ahead and stick him back on here I guess it didn't start too bad for it not being super warm out. And it's been sitting for a month or so. I think that'll all get better as I drive it more, but. How about that, guys? This thing is turning like it's never turned before. It's about to have hydraulics like it's not had in who knows how long. For now, I'm just gonna let it sit and warm up for a few minutes and then I'll back it up over to a field elevator and give it a run. Since those were the least two rusty, I'm assuming that's the middle lever on my 
I mean, it is on the other one. Let's see what she says. like I was wrong about one thing. It's the first lever that operates those two. <laughs> How about that? That works. Hey everyone, you guys that said that wouldn't work. I don't hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. <laughs> How about that? This son bitch is ready to go to work, guys. Uh, I've got to unhook it from here and pull it out and put the hood on it, but How about that? That's a good news day, guys. Things are working like they should be. Well, like I can say, let me get it unhooked now that I know it'll work. Try something different. There, guys, that's a good news day. Forgot I had this in the cab. The high range, low range lever was rusted right shut. She works now. There. Hey guys, I tell you what, moving that hood around is fun. It ain't as fun as watching drunk girls in miniskirts ride mechanical bulls, but it's fun, make no mistake. You what guys that thing don't run great but that's a handy little forker if you get a chance to get one i suggest you do that well i suppose guys that's gonna be a wrap for me today i got that i'm feeling really good about that i gotta get a little bit of tubing for the intake and a couple of air filters hit the bottom of that with a grease gun and i'm hoping i don't know maybe Next weekend, it might still be a little wet, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can get that field cultivator on it and at least get this five acres behind the house knocked out. Just see how this thing's going to run, but I'll keep you posted. I know you'll be here. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.